Many of you guys know that OG Fortnite is back. So without further ado, let me show you guys how to make a cool Fortnite montage. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, a brand new video. by the title of the video, wow, that was really fast because I can spit really fast. So anyways, welcome guys to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Fortnite montage in 2023, 2024. And without further ado, let's go straight into it. First up, what you guys want to do is load up After Effects. I already have loaded up. Mine says 2023. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my clip right off the gate. So I'm gonna go to my downloads, go to the offset, this clip right here, drag that over to your timeline over here. And as you can tell, Tell my clip is in 60 FPS. You want your clip to be in 60 FPS because it's the best for slowing down the video when we're actually editing. Now that we have our clip, let's go ahead and find a song. I already have a beat that I want to use for this one specifically. So go ahead and drag that in as well too to our project. Now that we've done that, go ahead and grab this and drag it over to your timeline down here. And now we have our project and you're thinking, how am I going to make a montage out of this? Because I don't know what's going on in this software. Well, don't worry, I got you. So what you want to do is go ahead the first thing I like to do is go ahead and click on your layer, double click L on that, and go ahead and zoom in, um, and let's go ahead and take a listen. So maybe we can have it, so I want when he gets the kill to happen around here. All right, so let's go. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and trim up this video. So what we want to do is go ahead and click on this end part here, hold shift while we're doing that, and then go, oh, snap it to our timeline here uh this little line here is just showing you the part in the video that we're in so and you can see by the left side too we're five seconds in right now so we want to start this beginning part right here i want the clip to start right here where he gets to kill so we're going to start with the clip right off the gate what i'm going to do now that we've set this up is we're going to go ahead and drag our clip over okay and we're going to pretty much drag this clip over where he gets to kill so he jumps up so he's shooting shout out to norcal kai by the way for this clip you are clutch for this thank you dude i appreciate you and i love you so that's probably where we want him to get the kill now if we watch the clip we already synced it already to that to that beat drop right here what i'm going to do to mark this is i'm going to go ahead and grab this marker and drag it over and set it right there so i know that that's where i want him to get the kill and i'm aware of it so let's go ahead and watch this clip real quick okay, good. Okay. Oh. 50. Boom. Oh my god. Oh my god. So pretty chill, but this could be a lot better. So what we're gonna do right off the gate. Yeah, so where he says T, I want him to pull out his pickaxe. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that right there. D D. Boom. So now we're gonna go ahead to the syncing portion of this video. So what you guys want to do is control Alt T or Command Option T if you're on Mac. Or right click time enable time remapping. And this is gonna be our best friend when it comes to making this clip look cool. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna introduce you guys to keyframes. Keyframes is really easy. I know a lot of us struggle with it at first, but trust me, keyframes are easy. So let me show you what keyframes essentially are. They represent a point in time in a video. So for example, this portion in time, I want him to get this kill. So I'm gonna go ahead and keyframe that by clicking on the bottom left here on this add or remove keyframe icon or I call it little diamonds. And so I want him to pull out his pickaxe right around there. So he picks it out right here, a little too late when this beat happens right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keyframe this and simply drag this over so it's on beat. And so now he pull, once that beat hits, it's gonna be on sync. Boy 50. Boom. Oh my God. Which looks great, okay. So he gets the kill, boom. We're gonna mute it just for the sake of the, oh my God, it's pretty annoying. So he gets the kill, boom. And let's listen to the beat. Let's see where we want it to end. So right there where it's like, boom. That snare right there, I want the clip to end. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Control Shift D by clicking on our layer. And we're gonna cut that out from there point on. What we want to do next, boys, essentially, is we're gonna start making this have some flow. Now, if anyone's coined that, it's definitely me. How to have flow, okay? This is gonna be the most important thing to do. So what you guys want to do is highlight all three keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and go ahead and click on the graph editor now that we're there. Now this looks confusing, but I promise it's worth it because this will make your video look 10 times better. So I'm gonna drag this up so I can see this better, okay? And what you guys essentially want to do to give it that flow, everyone has their own way of approaching it. I would say this is the most bare bones way of learning how to sync. There's way better methods, and this is just like the most fundamental basics so you guys can understand the concept of keyframing. All right, so what you guys want to do is maybe bring this up a little bit, click on this, 
click on one of these keyframes, drag this up, drag this down a little bit. This one I would like drag up probably a little bit and then drag this one down probably a lot more. So I, I kind of want to just to ease in there and then bring this up. And we're just gonna take a peek and see how it looks already. Boom. Can't stand this. So it, it flows into it a little bit more. Already looks 10 times as better. And this is just a basic sync. This is not even what I would usually do, but let's just keep it there. Boy 50. That looks so good. Already looks so much better. Okay, so this looks really good. Don't get me wrong. But now it is time to show you guys some effects to really spice up this edit. 